booked for murder. Newly obtained video shows ex-officer Aaron Dean being escorted through the Tarrant County Jail. Yeah, he's charged with murder for shooting uh, Tatiana Jefferson in her own home. And now some critics of Fort Worth are asking the feds to step in. I'm Chris Lawrence. I'm Cynthia Seguirre. Today, faith leaders made it clear they think the investigation needs the attention of the Justice Department. Here's Ariel Placencia. This is not our first rodeo. Faith and community leaders gathered in Fort Worth this afternoon, just four days after a Tatiana Jefferson was shot and killed by a Fort Worth police officer in her own home. Our city leaders are calling for healing. Mm -hmm. There can be no healing until the problem is addressed. Mm -hmm. Both the interim police chief and mayor have spoken at press conferences over the past few days. On behalf of the entire city of Fort Worth, I'm sorry. The officers they try hard every day. But those in the community want more. When the mayor stands up and says she's sorry, we question her genuineness. When the police chief stands up and shed tears and say our officers have hurting, we question your genuineness. Today, the group announced they put their concerns on paper in a letter to the U.S. Attorney General. We're going to ask the federal judges to give us a consent decree for the next 15 to 20 years until the city of Fort Worth act like we count. A consent decree allows the U.S. Department of Justice to open an investigation into a policing agency suspected of civil rights violations. Fort Worth PD releasing a statement this afternoon calling the group's request for a consent decree, quote, obviously their prerogative, but it is not the department's focus. Jefferson is the sixth person killed by a Fort Worth police officer so far this year, a number that some have compared to other cities. Not New York, not Chicago, not Detroit. It's true Fort Worth has seen more fatal officer-involved shootings than Chicago. We're still waiting to hear back from those other two cities, but we can tell you that the Phoenix Police Department has seen 10. In Fort Worth, I'm Ariel Placencia. And business took a back seat at a packed city council meeting last night in Fort Worth. Just look at all those people. At one point, the crowd stood together with fists raised in the air. Dozens of speakers voiced their concerns about their safety. Some called for changes in leadership at the police department and at City Hall. We reached out to Mayor Betsy Price for her response to all this tension. She says, my heart remains heavy and my prayers continue to be with Miss Jefferson's family. We must take steps to bring justice to her family. Justice is not just a criminal prosecution, but is also ensuring the tragedy of Atatiana's death propels our change. Family and friends will say their final goodbyes to Atatiana Jefferson on Saturday. Her funeral service will be held at the Potter's House at Dallas at 2 in the afternoon. The public is invited to attend. Well,